Want to learn more about the details of the amazing sequel to Ridley Scott's period piece epic Gladiator? Well, here is what we know so far about the surprising sequel Gladiator 2 and what you can expect to enter the arena. Very few movies can match the huge financial and critical success of Gladiator. This is a well-known fact. Just when you imagine that movies about warriors in ancient Rome are almost covered with films like Ben-Hur and Spartacus, there comes Ridley Scott who introduced the viewers with a modern action spectacle that set new heights for production design in filmmaking and featured revolutionary special effects. If the technical aspects weren't sufficient for the film to make its mark in the history of films, Gladiator also surprised the audience with its powerful and engaging story. So what is Gladiator 2 all about? If you are fond of watching epic historical dramas, then Gladiator 2 should be on your watch list. Gladiator 2 is an upcoming movie that is a sequel to Gladiator, which was released 23 years ago. Gladiator was directed by Ridley Scott and written by David Scarper and features Paul Mescal, Denzel Washington, Joseph Quinn, Fred Hetchinger, Pedro Pascal, Connie Nielsen, Jimon Hanso, and Derek Jacobi, the last three reprising their roles. It was produced by Scott Free Productions for Paramount Pictures and Universal Pictures. For the unversed, Gladiator talks about the historically fictitious story of a Roman general named Maximus played by Russell Crowe, who becomes the victim of a coup by Caesar Marcus Aurelius' own son, Commodus, played by a kin phoenix. Maximus is deprived of his position and condemned to be a slave in the fighting pits of Rome's gladiatorial industry. All the while, Commodus instructs the execution of Maximus' wife and child. Due to revenge over the killing of his family, Maximus utilizes his combat training and military expertise to fost advantage through the ranks of Rome's most powerful gladiators, ultimately becoming a ray of hope for Rome's distressed residents before battling it out with Emperor Commodus. You will be amazed to note that the movie got nominations for 12 Academy Awards due to its astonishing sense of scale, filmmaking abilities, and thrilling story. The Gladiator team took home five, including the coveted Best Picture Award. Since then, Gladiator has been recollected as a recognized classic film in the view of both audiences and critics. As the film's final cut led to the death of Maximus, it looked like the plot of Gladiator was finally over. However, when Ridley Scott mentioned that he still had plans for the story to continue in its second part, that's when things changed for good. Several reports and plans have been published with regards to the second part of the Gladiator story since the success of the original movie. Russell Crowe himself also mentioned how the conversation with regard to the sequel of Gladiator had never ended. There were several ideas that included Gladiator 2 taking a page out of the Bible and resurrecting Maximus, as well as an idea for things to take an even more supernatural approach, with Maximus involved in gladiatorial combat against mythological enemies in the Roman afterlife. Since the long-awaited continuation is ultimately entering the final production stage, only time will tell if Gladiator 2 will remain true to its grounded roots or launch more fantastical and interesting elements. Get prepared to be entertained by another journey to ancient Rome as Gladiator 2 is all set to officially arrive in theaters on Friday, November 22nd, 2024. This date will give the film a jump start to the week, considering there is another major blockbuster in Wicked Part 1, which is set to be released on November 27th, 2024. So, how did Gladiator's first film fare in the box office? It made a whopping total of $503 million at the international box office. This is considering the film was made on a budget of $103 million US dollars. Considering these numbers, it looks unlikely that Gladiator 2 will definitely be released in theaters. After all, who wouldn't want to enjoy a spectacle like gladiatorial combat on the big screen rather than a smart TV, laptop, computer or smartphone. It is not that the film will rule out a streaming release, considering the intellectual property of Gladiator movies is owned by Paramount Pictures, so you can expect the film on Paramount Plus as well. Gladiator 2 is presently in pre-production stage, with its lead actor set, a tentative release date in place, and a screenplay finished, the highly anticipated 
sequel is prepared and was previously ready to start filming around late March 2023. However, production was delayed until the summer of 2023 due to the Hollywood writers' strikes. Exact details on what's in store for Gladiator 2's story have not yet been announced, but the latest casting of its lead actor does provide some ideas on where the movie will go after the end of the first movie. With the casting of recent Oscar nominee Paul Mescal, the main actor will be someone we know from the original Gladiator. For the unaware, Paul Mescal received his first Academy Award nomination in 2023 for his performance in After Sun. An important supporting character in the original movie storyline was Lucius, played by Spencer Treat Clark, who is a young boy and is the nephew of the villainous Commodus and the son of Commodus' sister, Lucilla, played by Connie Nielsen. Even after meeting him only for a few times, Lucius swiftly started developing admirable feelings for Maximus as he became a hero in the eyes of several spectators in the Colosseum. From that point, Lucius determined he didn't want to be the next in line for the Roman throne, but instead wanted to be a symbolically heroic gladiator like Maximus. When he caught Maximus and Commodus, visiting his courageous sacrifice in the face of a maniacal ruler must have really affected him. Paul Mescal will be performing the role of an all-grown-up version of Lucius, and if the word gladiator remains as part of the title, we can expect that Lucius will have surely taken after Maximus and decided to enter the war pits rather than become Caesar. The lead role of Lucius in Gladiator 2 will be, Scott stated, that Mescal's interpretation interpretation in the hit British drama series Normal People played a big role in the casting, saying, and then I watched the whole series, and then suddenly Gladiator 2 came up, because the script was working pretty well, and I kept thinking about Paul, and that was it. Fellow 2023 Oscar nominee Barry Cogan was originally going to play the part of Emperor Geta, but had to drop out due to scheduling conflicts. Filling in for Cogan is Fred Hetchinger, who broke out in a large way with his part as Quinn Mosbacher in the first season of The White Lotus. Emperor Geta was a real-life Roman emperor who maintained control over the empire from 198 to 211. Whether this emperor will be a criminal successor to Commodus stays to be noticed. Another prominent actor who is guaranteed to perform in Gladiator 2 is none other than two-time Academy Award winner Denzel Washington. This marks the first time that Washington has featured in a Ridley Scott film in more than 15 years, having earlier featured in American Gangster. While the name of Washington's character has not yet been announced, Scott teased that the character will represent a life that was forbidden from Maximus in the original film. In an interview with Total Film, Scott Scott said, as for Denzel's character, there were businesses of gladiators who could indeed earn their freedom if they stayed alive. That was the deal. So we went right into that, in depth. Where did he come from? How was he taken? He was branded with marks and registered with a brand on his chest as a slave. So that's how he comes into the story. He's a rich guy who's still carrying a grudge. Another compelling addition to the all-star cast is Pedro Pascal, who newly starred in The Last of Us and The Mandalorian season. 3, and his inclusion here will resume the actor's authority in Hollywood. Joseph Quinn, best understood for his part as Eddie Munson in the fourth season of Stranger Things, is already making the jump to the big screen next year with A Quiet Place Day 1. But that won't be the only significant film he'll be a part of, as he'll also be entering the cast to Gladiator 2. Another major television star to break great last year was Moon Knight's May Kalamaui, who also signed on to play the female role of the epic sequel to Gladiator. Connie Nielsen and Derek Jacobi, who featured in the first film as Lucilla and Senator Gracchus, have also signed on to recreate their parts for the sequel. Jimon Honso, who featured as Juba in the 2000 film, is also rumored to return. Other cast members on board to be a part of Gladiator 2 include Leo Raz from Six Underground, Peter Mensa from Spartacus, and Matt Lucas from Brian. Bridesmaids. The man in the director's chair, Ridley Scott, is a prolific filmmaker who requires no introduction, with examples of his acclaimed directorial work including Alien, Blade Runner, Thelma and Louise, Black Hawk Down, The Martian, and many more. Penning the screenplay for Gladiator 2 is David Scarpa, who previously teamed with Scott as the writer for All the Money in the World. 
If you liked watching our video, click on the like and subscribe buttons. Until next time.